Hey guys, what is up? Quackery here for another C++ tutorial. Uh, today we are going to be talking about while loops, just more control statements. I don't know if you watched the previous tutorial about if else else if statements, but this is basically the next step. So we're going to be talking about while and a little bit about do while at the end, although that's not really commonly used in, um, in a lot of code. But anyway, if you remember the Boolean um, constructs from last from last tutorial. Let's just go ahead and write those down. So while it looks uh, kind of similar to if, it's just a keyword where you have a logical statement inside these parentheses and basically while this value continues to be true, any code in here will execute indefinitely. So it's basically just a giant loop that will continue to execute while this is true. So it kind of like self-explains itself. So if I do print, you know, this will just print indefinitely. Um, and I wonder if, if I actually run it. Um, first off, I need to include a new stream, and we're also going to be including string for some later stuff. Let's go ahead and build that and run it. It should just, you know, print forever until I actually terminate the program because it's stuck in there. And, um, Okay, so let's kind of think of like a, a useful thing to do this. Oh, also, you know, if you do, you know, false val, this should not print at all and just execute immediately. Yeah, so nothing happens. So it shows that if this is, um, if this evaluates a true, it'll execute until it evaluates a false. And there isn't really like an else statement for while else. Um, so don't worry about that. But a commonly used... Um, Thing for while loops is basically sometimes like game loops and, and video games will just have a while true that'll continue to sorry I had to clear my throat uh, just had to continue execute basically the game loop code which is stuff like move character you know draw screen until they actually terminate the program so you'll see a lot of cases where people will have this while true that'll just execute um, indefinitely but we're just going to create a, a simple I guess, guess the password kind of uh, game or program um, with this while loop. We're basically going to be going to, be going to read in um, information from standard in and be can compare it against a, uh, a value that we have. So let's just go ahead and create our password. And be it, it's going to be very secure. And let's go ahead and create a variable to hold our guess. And our while loop, which is what will uh, be continued to execute if, if this is true, is going to be while the guess that we have does not equal the password. So the code in here will continue to execute until we actually get this password correct, until the values are equal. And you can probably guess what's going to go on here. We're going to have a prompt for password where they'll be able to uh, enter in something. And let's read it into the guess variable. So this will just continue to prompt them for password. They enter it in. That will then be stored in guess, which will, and once this uh, this is finished execute, it'll go back up top to this while loop and evaluate it again to see, oh, do we need to re-execute this code in here um, with this Boolean statement? And if we type in the correct password, one, two, three, four, it will actually, um, it'll terminate this. So then we can just add a little print statement at the end that says access granted. Because hey, we've uh, we've correctly guessed the password and we have exited this while loop. So uh, let's go ahead and build that, run it. So here's our little prompt down here. If I do something like foo, you know, it'll ask me for the password again because that wasn't right. If I do something like password one two three, you know, of course it wasn't right. But if I somehow guess the lucky password. Boom, access granted. So it no longer executes any of the code in the while loop. It is now jumped out into here. Excellent. So that pretty much, I mean, that covers while loops, but it's, you could do like so many different things um, inside of here. Um, say, I guess, um, I guess we're going to cover break and continue statements further um, um, in like a further tutorial, but I guess I'll add a little bit in here. Say if you want to prematurely break out of a while loop. Um, say if they enter, so if guess equals equals exit or something like that. So say, oh, they want to, they don't want to type these passwords anymore or 
Um, this probably isn't good because what if they have their passwords exit? But anyway, um, we're just going to basically break out and give them access granted. So this could be like a secret key or I don't know, anything. But it's just to illustrate what break statements do. So, you know, if I do blah, 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 no password. But if I do exit, nope, I think I included that A. Okay, exit, then it actually hits this break statement. And it tell it, what it basically does is it exits out of um, whatever control statement is like its parent. So in this case, it's the while loop. If statements can't, don't really be broken out of, but things like for loops and uh, while loops, um, you can use break to um, instantly uh, jump out of them. In this case, it goes to this end thing, access granted. So that pretty much covers while loops. Uh, there's one smaller, um, less commonly used do while. Um, so let's go ahead and remove some of this code and see if we can recompile it and run it. Does it still work? Okay. But um, do while is basically a while loop with the certain condition that instead of evaluating this, you know, this uh, Boolean before you execute any code in here, it evaluates it after you execute all the code in here. So you would basically move your code from here into this do loop. Actually, let's. Uh, I want to keep all this code for since I'll be posting these samples. Just go ahead and comment this out. So we'll have a do, and then while guest does not equal password, and then in here we'll have this exact same code. So this pretty much should do the exact same thing, um, except this will be evaluated first. So this will won't be hit until um, the end. Um, so, but it has like basically the same um, oh, permission denied. Of course, this all usually happens. Let me just pause real quick and uh, get rid of this error. All right, sorry about that. Sometimes if there's a bunch of executables running, it'll uh, stop working. But anyway, so let's go ahead and build that, which I think we did already, and run it. And it should ask for our password again. So we can do like blah, blah, blah. It again will ask for our password. And we do password one, two, three, four. We'll exit, exit out of uh, access granted. So because it's so similar to a while loop is pretty much why it isn't really used very much. And people usually want their uh, Boolean evaluated right away and not execute this one line of code before, or this uh, block of code before it is actually evaluated. But it's just something else to keep in mind. There are some specific cases that I can't think of any right now that are like very specific where do while is, is, uh, is needed, say if you want to keep a variable uninitia un uninitiated until um, uninitialized or whatever, until you get into this do loop. But um, they're very specific. So I've, I don't think I've ever used any in production code. Um, so I've stuck with while loops. But that pretty much covers both of those things. Um, thank you for watching. Make sure to watch the rest of my C++ tutorials. Um, yeah, that's it. Quackware signing out.